So in our last video, we made this spreadsheet where we went and we added some additional insulation by changing the number here in our air changes per hour. What we're going to do this time is see what's happening if we add not um, caulking and weather sealing, but if we add some additional insulation to our attic. So we want to set up a new analysis case. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom, make a new spreadsheet. I'm going to start with our original baseline case, select copy, and then come here and paste. I'm going to go down here and rename this. This is going to be analysis case B, and I'll call this um, attic insulation, a blown attic insulation, because we're going to be looking at adding um, blown cellulose insulation to the attic. So what's presently in our attic is R19 insulation. Um, we're going to look at uh, increasing that to kind of the high side of uh, what it would be standard in Michigan. So that would be going from R19 up to R60. So I'm going to go and just select this cell where 19 is and I'm going to write 60 and hit enter. If we look what happened, I'll scroll up just a little bit. Um, we saw this number here change, the amount of heat leaving the attic and the therms per month. And then of course we saw the overall heat uh, decrease from 213 down to 203. I can do that again just to show you. So we originally were at 19. We're losing about 15 and a half therms per month. Out of the attic, we change that to 60 and it drops down to 5.6. Uh, but with many insulations, we aren't just limiting the amount of conduction through that section of the house. We're also reducing the amount of air leakage in that section. So I'm going to go down here and then look. You can see here some new insulation, new estimates for windows. Um, and if I look here, there are a couple different um, pieces for adding attic insulation. So. Um, the estimate that we're going to be using is that we're reducing air leakage by about 0.05 for each additional R15 layer of insulation. So if we have thicker insulation, we're kind of continuing to add it in the attic. The attic tends to be quite leaky, but this is going to help to reduce some of that leakage. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go now to our air changes per hour piece. And we're going to write an equation into here, which is the amount that we added. We went from 19 to 60. So we added 41. That was our R value. Um, we want to now divide this by 15 um, because we're going to each R15 layer is going to um, continue to reduce the air changes per hour. Um, so then we're going to take that and multiply it by our 0.05. So that's going to give us a reduction now of 0.14 in the air changes per hour. Um, so both of these reductions are caused by adding that attic insulation, again, which takes our total savings from um, all the way up to around, what is that, 20? therms, 22 therms, or about 10.5%. So again, that would be a, a reduction from the baseline for this winter month, about 10.5%, but we're going to make the, the good assumption that that 10.5% in the winter is going to be about approximately 10.5% of our annual heating load. Um, what we're going to do next, what you are going to do next, is start to add multiple interventions into the same simulation. So we've shown you how to do some individual ones, but we could come in here and say, um, we have single pane windows here. They have an R value of two. What if we replace them with something like a double pane window here? That's going to have an insulation benefit. 
it will also have a air change per hour benefit, a leaky house benefit. Or we could look at something with the rim joist or the exterior basement walls or the basement floor. Lots of different places that we can look at um, changing some of these R values and starting to see how much of an effect does this have on the whole home. So that's what we're going to be looking for now. Um, hopefully you're able to reproduce some of these results and see the same um, changes, the same reductions that what we're showing here, um, just to make sure you're on the right track. And now what we want you to do is take this and take it a step further.